Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Well, good morning. I'm actually sitting here with my morning coffee. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do a full face of makeup, most of it being new fun stuff. And we are just gonna try and create something hopefully nice looking. Filming this early in the morning and I'm also like super excited to let you know that the beginning part of this video is sponsored by Cosier. So we are gonna be doing a little bit of skin prep with some of the things that I have here. I usually do this like off camera, but today I thought I'd like bring you in and show you what we're gonna be talking about. Cosier is a Korean skincare brand that is fully cruelty free. Oh, there's a little spatula and their snail mucin is cruelty free as well so what we're going to be trying today is two different products from their black snail collagen line so this one contains black collagen in this product it's from black beans and it's also snail mucin snail mucin helps protect the skin from moisture loss it reduces blemishes and black beans is rejuvenating and nourishes skins and collagen of course diminishes fine lines and helps firming and lifting so the cream is an all-in-one deep moisturizing cream and the black food collagen and snail ingredients strengthen the basis of the skin restoring the skin barrier and increases the natural power of skin to make it elastic and healthy and this product is suitable for all skin types and i'm just going to be applying this uh, on my skin i've talked about snail mucin on my channel before this is not the first time you're hearing about it here it's an ingredient that works really good on my skin it is very like elastic like you saw uh, but then it goes on on the skin just really really beautiful and you can see it's like the long strings and it goes on on the skin I mean, you can see and then it just absorbs really really easy oh i got a little bit of my of my booby this has just been an ingredient that has worked out for me for a really long time and it's especially good for like when I want to have that extra moisture that just lasts for a really long time but it's still a product that absorbs really quickly and that is something that I need. I need something that is super hydrating but still absorbs really quickly so that I can like go on with my day and that's one of the main reasons why I think that this is an ingredient that works for all different skin types because I have combo oily skin, I am 39 years old and I live in a climate that that is pretty humid. We can see just how hydrated and moisturized my skin looks. I also have two different eye creams here, but I'm gonna be using the one in the Black Food Collagen series. You can find Cosser's products at their own site, but you can also find them at Amazon. I will leave all the info down below in case you also wanted to try out this ingredient. It's just really nice. I use products like this both during the night and during the day. For me, it's just an ingredient that really, really works with my skin. So we are gonna give this a a little time to soak in but yeah my skin is looking really glowy and hydrated and i am ready for the next step so thank you again cosio for sponsoring the beginning part of this video i am so excited to keep using your products they feel and look amazing i've just let the skincare rest for like three four minutes on my skin and we're gonna do the glossier foundation i got a sample listen i used a sample on my channel a while ago and you seem to really appreciate the fact that i'm like taking advantage of the sample so let's do it again let's figure out if this is something that i would like to buy full size off this is the glossier stretch foundation stretch fluid foundation and they sent six different shades i got this as a sample from sephora and it's just one of those cards that you open and slid open and it is medium four and light one which are the two in the corner here and i'm thinking those mixed are gonna work out right let me see. i feel like i'm about to take like a tylenol well in, in sweden usually pills are like in these little things i don't think it's as common here in the u.s i've seen them more in like uh the big like like jar pill jars and uh, we don't do that really in sweden you can't like really buy medication in those kind of a big jars i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing but it's just something that's a little different not better not worse just different so i'm just gonna dip in this with just a brush and let's see where we are at with the shades yeah like i said i think this one which is the light one i think it's gonna be is it light one yes light one is gonna be just too light and then medium four of course is going to be way too like i am not a medium four i might be a medium one that would probably be my shade so maybe i should just again with this little <laughs> this is how i would recommend you to do it though if you're gonna try it yourself just get some on 
your skin? So how has your week been? I have been super, super, super stressed because I am going on vacation and you know how it is before vacation. You always have so many things to fix before vacation. So you always end up being like super, super stressed. And then you need the vacation more than ever once you finally get there because you're like, because you had so many things to fix. That's where I'm at right now. I also have a bunch of other things to fix behind the, the scenes and you will see a lot about that in a bit. I didn't use a lot of foundation. Should we read about the claims? Should I have used more foundation? Light to medium coverage, natural finish. See, I would like a natural finish because I mean, as you can see, not only did the skincare give me amazing glow, but my skin is actually in a really, really good shape right now. And all I really need from my skincare is for it to just even out my skin tone a little bit and also to bring me into the skin tone that the rest of my body has. Because I always get more tan on my body, on my shoulders, on my hands, than I get on my face. Probably because like, like keeping my face more in the shade. I use even more sunscreen there. I use, usually have a hat on when I'm at the pool because otherwise I can't read. But that looks really nice, does it not? Okay, the thing is, how is this gonna hold up? I will say I much prefer this kind of coverage from Glossier than I prefer the coverage that they have with the skin tint. It just wasn't really for me. I'm still in the process of reviewing this Makeup by Mario concealer, so we are going to be doing that one. I so far think it's really good. You know, I didn't like the Makeup by Mario foundation. Not that I thought it was like bad, but it just really wasn't for me. It didn't hold up on my skin at all, honestly. And I also thought that when I like powdered my entire uh, skin to make it like last on me and not like totally slid off my face. I just felt like it looked a little heavy. And also there was so much sparkle in the foundation. And honestly, like it looked pretty good on the skin, but the longevity was just not there. I mean, my skin is looking amazing. I think I'm going to be showing you as well how I was doing those freckles because I talked about in my Monday video, I did a uh, makeup haul showing you the things that I've added to my collection. And I talked about that freckle pen that I haven't used on camera. And I thought today would be a great day to use that. I can't get over how good my skin is looking. It is really just looking super even and super beautiful. I'm a big fan. We're gonna do a little cream bronzer. I'm in the process of reviewing this one. This is the Trixie Cream Bronzer. Is it Trixie? Yes. <laughs> Trixie Cosmetics Cream Bronzer in Sunset Tina. So we're gonna find something using like a super expensive brush. This is the Sonia G brush. I have people asking me, I got these Sonia G brushes in my mystery box what are they called from beautylish you know those that you buy i was super lucky and i got a full set and i will say i really really do enjoy them but even though how much i enjoy them and i enjoy a full like a high quality brush you know that i mean i have a brush brand right now well hopefully we'll expand them to more things but right now it's a brush brand so i do appreciate a high quality brush but i will say at some point i do think that you can get an equal result with something that is high-end and not luxury. And Sonia G is luxury and the brushes are beautiful, but I don't know if I needed to add that extra zero <laughs> behind the cost of a brush if I could just get something equally good with a $24 brush. Because I don't necessarily love a lot of super inexpensive brushes. I feel with inexpensive brushes, it's like, you know, going to... TJ Maxx. You will find some really good finds there, but you kind of have to look through the whole store. But when you go to a more like high-end or expensive brush brand, all brushes are going to be good quality. So you don't have to look for that good quality one. But with like more drugstore brands, not all brushes are great and you kind of have to find a couple of duds before you find like a good one. And that that's the part that I don't love about that. But do I feel like you need to buy this expensive of a brush, I don't think I'm gonna be that person. I don't think I am that much into, and I'm a person that's like, 
fewer but nicer thing. I, I think you've noticed that with like my fashion. I do tend to just save up for one more expensive bag and then wear that for a season and then go back to some of my other ones as well over just buying five cute ones from Zara. That's not my jive. It's not how I roll. I feel like I have like a hair on my... <laughs> so one would think that I would be the same with brushes and I kind of am. I just don't feel like I need to go for the Chanel of brushes. Maybe like the mid the mid range is okay. I don't I didn't need to go for like Dior or Chanel, which is true when it comes to fashion as well. I'm not a Chanel or Dior girly. I think that that looks really really good. I am going to be using I have finally I have the Makeup Revolution and the Makeup Revolution and Grease collection. So we're going to be using these things, but I was thinking uh, I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'm just gonna let this foundation set down a little bit and we'll see how it is with a little time and then we'll do the freckle pen uh, and just like move on. But so far, I'm looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna go in with my tried and true powder. This one is from uh, CoverGirl. Look, I'm almost done. I love panning things. I mean, there are always, sometimes it's really hard to pan things, but I also put a pan, I don't know if I showed you, I put a pan in this one. This is my favorite bronzer from, from Fenty. Look at that. Pan, pan. But yeah, I'm gonna put a, a little bit of this powder on just in my T-zone because I, I do get a little oily in my T-zone and I do like setting that part. Plus I really need to set my under eyes. Like there, there is no like not setting my under eyes. It's not happening. Whew. Do you still have like summer warmth where you are? Cause here it's still super summery and super warm. I don't know if we're in the hundreds anymore. I haven't looked at the hundreds would be 40, about 40 Celsius. I haven't looked at like the weather report, but it is still very warm, but I can definitely tell in the mornings and in the evenings that it's not that pressing heat that it's been this summer. So yeah, I'm just setting a little bit in my T-zone. But yeah, I'm really liking how all of this is looking. Let me see if I can do, oh, there it is, a little, a little spray and then let's try that a uh, blush i think i'm gonna do this with the sponge so this is the makeup revolution and grease collab this is the rizzo blush it is like a warm pink i love grease i've talked about this before i absolutely love grease and i just i needed to have something from this collection and i also thought it'd be a good idea Oh, that's more pigment than I thought. Like a good opportunity for me to try out some things from Makeup Revolution and just see how it's been. Because I have tried a couple of things from Makeup Revolution that I've really liked. Their cream products are usually really, really nice. This one is super pigmented. Like their cream bronzers and their cream duos. But then they've had some stuff that I haven't liked. Like I haven't found a concealer or foundation from Makeup Revolution that I have liked. But I will say that... I am super excited to try the eyeshadow formula because Revolution Beauty did buy BH Cosmetics and we all know that I love BH Cosmetics. So I'm super excited to see if they have like adapted that formula into this palette. So this is the Grease and Revolution T-Birds palette, rock and roll T-Birds palette. And it's just a little nine pen and I am just super excited to be digging into this one. Are we gonna do that now? Oh, let me do the freckles first. Let's do the freckles and maybe even the lipstick and then we can like jump into that one. So this is the freckle pen that I've been talking about. This is the Bubel, I think it's Bubel. Bubel and Rudy Berry and it has a little ball tip. You can see it here. So it's like really easy to paint on. You basically like, you have a finger. Well, I hope you have a finger and then you just dot on a little bit and you go over it. And basically you try and create something and sometimes you have to go in several times and do the like what you're hoping to achieve. I'm 
but it just turns out to something honestly pretty decent the the trick is to try and make them not too uh, symmetrical and also like to try and just dot on and just shear it out I think that that looks pretty good. And also what I've been liking to do, I know I only have it on half the side, but I like going in with the ColourPop freckle pen and just filling in a couple that's like actually my beauty spots and just making those a little bit more sharp so that you get that like contrast between some being a little bit more sheer and some being a little bit more visible. I think it looks pretty good. Let me actually try and just perfect this. Do a little lip liner maybe because I want to do this lipstick that on the side looked a little orange, but it's definitely a pink. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a lip liner for this one. So I did end up using this out of line liner from one size because this one is like a little bit of an almost terracotta muted red. So I thought that it would be cool together with this pinky one. Doesn't smell like anything. Oh, and I bought the shade Sandy, by the way. I will link everything in the description box. It feels like a... Not matte, but also not satin. Like a... Like a slight satin. I do think it pulls a little bit more, like, coral on the lips. It might be the lip liner as well, but I'm excited about this color. I will say... The formula just from applying it, maybe not my absolute favorite, I will say. Let's do a, a little bit of eye primer. I'm still using the Sigma primer stick and let's dig into the eyeshadows. I cannot wait to see how I feel about this formula. I want to say I have low expectations, but low key, I have high expectations. Like, I want to see what you are. I mean, we definitely need to do something with the systematic. <laughs> I want to see this movie so bad. I couldn't find it anywhere to like stream it for free. And I'm just like, <laughs> but we're going to do systematic and then we're going to do the greased. I think we're going to start with those. And I'm thinking maybe lightning and maybe burning as well on the lid. But let's start with the purple and let's just see. I, I feel like this purple is going to be like the tell. Because I used to love the purples from BH Cosmetics. Remember that? It was like a 90s remix palette or was it a wasn't it a 90s remix palette i don't remember the name of it but it had some of the best purples and i will say just initial impression from putting this on not too shabby i'm just gonna blend it out a little bit as well i mean the true test will be when we try to like blend a shadow on top of this that's what we're gonna see if there's any like grip in the shadows but that's pretty nice i think i'm gonna put a little bit uh, under my eyes as well okay let's see how this works with the matte black i just want to have a little bit out here nothing too crazy i wouldn't say on like initial reaction that this is the formula from like passion in paris by beach cosmetics but i also Definitely think that this is a nice doable formula to work with for sure. That looks pretty decent. I think that that looks really, really cute. I want to use a little bit of the fuel injection, which is this like, well, matte bone color. And I want to see how that one is just in here. Yeah, that one is actually a little brightening. I'm just using this as a bit of a brightening shadow here in the inner part. I feel like that helps with like my eye shape and a little bit of the wrinkles that's going on in there. Okay, let's try the one that's lightening and then maybe a little bit of burning as well. And I'm going to be picking it up with an EO1. Right now we are sold out of the cinch brushes, which is a little, not mind boggling, but like it's a little exciting. Uh, I am of course going to be restocking and we are going to be uh, restocking with another packaging because I want to move my brand into a warehouse because I, I think that you have 
probably gotten this from in my life as well but i have been extremely busy and how fun this has been i can't deny that it's also been a little bit stressful and i'm spraying the shadows in case i didn't say that to like run a brand everything and just pack the orders and all of it it has been very stressful so I think both me and my husband are very excited that we are going to be able to move into a warehouse. I mean, we were packing the last orders for the Labor Day sale. We were packing those yesterday until 11 p.m. So it, it's it's been a little much in a good way, of course, but also like you have to plan for the future. So it's like sustainable for you. So I'm definitely going to be restocking the brushes. Don't worry about that. It's definitely happening. This is not a limited edition. So this is burning. But I just need to... Well, first of all, I need to produce them. <laughs> and it takes a really long time to produce stuff, regardless of what the makeup community told you about restocks back in 2016-17. It takes a really long time. So they're definitely going to be restocked. And I will let you know... Um, as soon as we restock or as soon as we have something new because of course new things are also coming I feel like that turned out really cute I'm just going to be blending a little bit on this one and adding a little bit of mascara I did a little mascara and I put a little bit of the Colourpop Amethyst Hour on my waterline but you know what? Think that this looks really good and my skin looks really beautiful and i don't even have i haven't powdered the rest of my face and i don't even have any highlighter on i think i'm gonna skip highlighter i really like the freshness of the skin i don't who am i everything is done with the look and i gotta say i really love how this turned out i love the freshness of the skin i'm really excited to keep using uh, this sample i'm gonna use it tomorrow as well the from glossier and I'll see if i like it as much tomorrow as i did today i think the eyeshadow worked out really good the blush is really beautiful it has to dry down not like a powder dry down you can see there is a little a little gleam to it but it definitely isn't tacky or sticky nothing will like stick to the blush for sure i think everything looks really beautiful i think the one thing where i'm like i didn't need it is the lipstick it is a little a little almost waxy in consistency but i don't hate the color and i don't hate how it feels on the lips but i definitely have drugstore options that i prefer more than this lipstick but the eyeshadow and the blush not too shabby and thanks again Kos here for sponsoring the beginning part of the video of course part of the reason why my skin is looking so amazing is that these ingredients just really jive with my skin and if you want to see more about any of the things that i'm talking about in this video including the skincare products all of that is going to be down in the description box so i hope you're having an amazing day and i will see you again tomorrow for a new video bye